Welcome back everybody to 2231 Thornwood. It's day 21 and haven't made a video journal or a video blog in a few days because there really has been much to show. Minor stuff happening and then we had a weekend. Today's Monday and I was able to marshal all the crews so we had three, six, nine, twelve people working today. So we had excavators, we had plumbers, and we had two groups of carpenters. Hooray, hurrah. So we've got the plumbing walls coming in. As you can see, the difference between the new construction and some of the older, darker, more brown existing. And the reason for this is our plumber is leaving for a two-week vacation. Good for him. And in order to get the underground plumbing in and get the plumbing stacks taken up, we have to get this work done now before he leaves on Friday. Otherwise, we're going to lose him for two weeks and we're going to suffer another delay, which I'm not willing to do. And the reason that's important is because he works with gravitational forces. So all of the waste lines have to feed down gravitationally. They can't go uphill. So the HVAC contractor takes, them out, takes up the most amount of space with his ducts, but he can sort of push them any way he wants. The electrician is the most nimble out of all the contractors. So definitely have to get all the plumbing walls up and um, completed for our plumber by the time he leaves and we're working diligently with two crews. Got some nice progress on the second floor. You can actually see the roof line coming in. So we have the carpenters today and you can see the, the two rafters that are going to have the ridge, so the ridge point directly behind me and what they've also done is they've also set up a little bit of an assembly line now if you can see this so all these rafters are pre-cut now they're gonna get on the scaffolding behind me they're gonna put up the ridge and then all the rafters are gonna come together easily they don't have to cut each one so they do their math and then they make all their cuts wish they did it last week so nice progress up here we are a week behind schedule the roofer has been kind enough to move us over in the schedule and I'm going to show you the downstairs the lower level we are pretty much stopped until we can get Wilmette to come through and give us our what's called a pre pour inspection and the reason I'm doing or the reason we're going outside is because these interior stairs are really unsafe and they're gonna to have to get taken out. The top, the bottom two stairs are already gone, so we're actually using the outside entrance, which is nice because the homeowner is also gonna use it this way. With the garage directly behind us and the sun in my eyes. Wow, that's bright. We're actually gonna put the door, the man door to the garage right there so that you can quickly come out of the garage and get inside. The mudroom is going to be right here or you can go directly into the kitchen. So try to keep those entrances as close as possible to each other. As you recall we cut the concrete out for the for the plumber and he's going to start his underground his drain tile and we have a little bit of a puzzle on how do we achieve this difference in height so we're going to have plumbing here on this level which has to be then taken down to that level and right where that bucket is behind me he is going to put in the two uh, pits one of them is the ejector and the other one is going to be the sump you can see all the forms are already up and they're actually braced against this center beam because as the concrete comes in, it really wants to push out and it want to, wants to blow the forms out. This usually is not required, or not at least in that degree, when we have another form like this, and then we can tie them together. So you can't really see in there now, but there's actually a bolt through onto the other side, and that's gonna hold them together. Here, we only have this existing wall so any concrete that comes in here wants to immediately push out. The boxes that you see here 
are basically for our piers. This is going to be a new footing for the column that is now going to support the new existing and then relocated beam into this position. So everything's done. We're waiting for the city inspectors to come out and inspect our um, forms along with the rebar inside to make sure that it meets code. Once they give us the green light, we can either pour the same day or the following day. Our inspection is going to be in two days, so we're sort of stopped between 1 and 3 in the afternoon, which basically means no pouring that day. We're going to pour concrete on Thursday morning. We'll give you another update on Thursday, and uh, I'm going to be out of town for the following weekend, so I'll catch up with you guys when I get back on the 14th. Bye-bye.